What is up everybody, AD here back in the game with another video. So I'll be checking out the outfit teaser Tabat style Simulanka's blessing where they will be featured they will feature um Kirawa's out outfit outfit and Nilo's um, alternate outfit. Now as I mentioned back when I reacted to the special program version 4.8 I had absolutely zero expectations on version 4.8 in general simply because of the fact that Genshin, the Genshin team doesn't listen to, to the fans ever since um, the Lantern Ride festival back in version 4.4 but after reacting to the special program in version 4.8 at the very least, right? At least there's something I can I will have, I will look forward to, which is um, the limited time event for version 4.8, which is practically the the summer event where the traveler will be going, to, will be traveling at a, a different location, and apparently it's most likely that we'll be traveling with um, Milo. So I'm kind of I kind of wanna check out what the what the event is and then the same effect right when when they showcase Lilo's um outfit and Kirazo's outfit I was kinda 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 in awe man because I really really love how they design um Lilo's um new outfit and Kirazo's new outfit. So let let's not waste no time and check let's check out this outfit teaser and hopefully they give me Hoping they'll give a more in depth of how Hilo and Kirawa's outfit will look like. So let's not waste any time and just jump right into the outfit teaser for Nilo and Kirawa. Oh, I, I, I see Kirawa already. I see Kirawa already. Scaling walls, leaping across the rooftops? <laughs> Nothing new for me. Huh? Uh, 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 you find a cat? Really There's a cat Google. burglar about. I'm so good, man! Holy crap! And oh my gosh, Lino! Like I said, I present to you. A gift from the forest. She looks like a freaking Disney princess with this outfit, Come man. Come with me on a fairy tale journey. Ooh. Ooh, so good, man. She looks so good in that outfit. Holy moly. Not gonna lie, Nilo looks so good in that outfit. And the matter of fact, right? Let's watch that teaser one more time, but in Japanese version. Uh, hold on, let me look for that uh, the teaser in Japanese version first. If you guys don't mind. Okay, I have managed to found the Japanese version of the outfit teasers, and I might be pausing at certain points. So let's jump right into it. I'm not gonna lie though. Hirawa's um, continued outfit, right? Really resembles Navia's outfit. And at first glance, right? I thought I I was thinking that, oh my goodness. This, at first, my first impression of this outfit is that she's giving, they, they're giving her the, the cowgirl um, look alike. But apparently, for. But what they, they describe is they're giving more of a phantom tea bite. Which is kinda like, because of the because of the the the, 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 the mask that they they gave her. Yeah, because of the the, 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 the this mask right over here, right? They 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 describe this outfit as she's uh she's something like a phantom teeth or some kind. But to me she feels more like a cowgirl more of a of 
than a phantom thief to be real with you guys. Still, the outfit looks so good. Not gonna lie, Kirawa's outfit looks so good. And it's probably one of the best 4 star alternate outfits out there as a matter of fact. Very well designed. Breeze of Saba. Dude, not gonna lie. Alright. So I'm sorry for rewinding, but as I mentioned earlier. As I mentioned earlier, Milo's alternate outfit, right? She they're really giving her the the Disney princess vibe. They really give her the Disney princess vibe. As a matter of fact, right? The theme for the theme for the the temporary event, the limited event in version four point eight is all about um very tail if I'm not mistaken. So it kind of makes sense as to why um Hoyoverse yeah, the Genshin team is giving Nilo the the Disney princess vibe. Ooh, she looks so good in that outfit. Not why she looks so good in that outfit man. She looks so good in that outfit. I'm having a hard time whether she looks, she looks, she looks good in her OG outfit or she looks good in the, in, in the, the Disney princess outfit. I'm gonna having a hard time choosing, though as a matter of fact. But without a shadow of doubt, right? I will definitely be getting Nilo's new outfit once version 4.8 drops, and I will be jumping right into the main event for the sake of getting Kirawa's new outfit because both new outfits they look so good there's no way i'm not getting those man there's no way i'm passing that i'm getting i am getting those outfits without a shadow without so yeah i think that's pretty much my reaction to outfit teaser to bad style similankas facing um milo's um, long story short right both milo and kira's outfit looks ridiculously good i'm gonna get get them and Speaking of 4.8, right? I will probably do for for Emily's um, story quest and the temporary story quest. I most likely will be doing a no commentary walkthrough. Originally, I was thinking of maybe I should a commentary walkthrough and maybe I'll be reacting to the, the temporary story quest. But then after long thought process i was like you know what on second thought i'll just um, upload a co no comparing walkthrough instead considering the fact that it's a limited um, time event and here's another thing about limited time events okay she there's no rerun so new players in the future they won't be able to access into the event so at the very least what i will do right i will do a no commentary walkthrough of the story so that at least that people get to enjoy the story even, even so that they can access into the story quest through youtube so do look forward to that and um as a matter of fact i'll be doing in uh, japanese audio because i'm pretty sure there's a lot of english uh english voice um youtube walkthrough of the event somewhere out there so i'll be doing it uh, the japanese version on, on my end so do look forward to that in the meantime um, I'll be back for more updates on probably on maybe on Genshi. More, definitely with more updates on Zenosun Zero because I'll, I'll be real with you guys. I'm having legit so much fun with um, the game. Even though I'm hearing criticism about the game, about the the, 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 the TV puzzle, about the, the 
the game doesn't have a jump feature, I was like, whatever. I don't, I don't care. I personally enjoyed the game so far, even though it's been, it's been two days since, it's, it's, it's technically day three since um, Zenless Zero 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 is out. And there's another fact, like, shout out to Zenless Zero Zero for reaching 50 million downloads. 50 million downloads, like, holy crap. Congratulations, Zenless Zero Zero. I, I will definitely will be playing more Zenless Zero Zero in the future without a shout out. Without. And then once version 4.8 drops on the 17th, I will probably spend about a week trying my best to focus to cover on the, the event. And then once Emily, Emily Story Quest drops during the set, I have a feeling that Emily Story Quest will drop in the second half of uh, version 4.8, considering the fact that the banner is in the second half of 4.8. So I would assume that. Emily Story Quest will be on the second half of um, version 4 so I'll be doing a no commentary walkthrough on Emily Story Quest as well, so do look forward to that. Till then, thank you dudes for watching. Uh, my name is AJ and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.